the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. India and Singapore have deepened their ties with the signing of a bilateral naval agreement. Indian naval ships can now be refueled and restocked at Singapore, which is located at the gateway to the South China Sea, through which 35% of Indian trade passes. Defence Minister of Singapore has said that both the countries would increase more participation and activity in the Malacca Straits. India and Japan have taken their deepening natural partnership into outer space, as the Indian Space Research Organization and the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency may jointly carry out a sample return mission to the moon. A British Army contingent of over a hundred personnel have arrived in India to take part in the Indo-UK joint military exercise, Ajaya Warrior 2017. President of Boeing India has said that Boeing will scale up manufacturing in India by spreading its operations across Hyderabad and other southern cities. Global aerospace giant Lockheed Martin plans to set up an engineering lab to enhance its research and innovation support in India. The multi-billion dollar US firm is keen to offer helicopters and F-35 aircraft to the Indian Air Force. The Indian Navy conducted a successful trial of the MR SAM from INS Kochi. The ship successfully tracked and intercepted the aerial target at enhanced ranges with pinpoint accuracy. In a boost to the country's air defense shield, the Indian Air Force has successfully tested the supersonic Akash from a defense test facility. India has secured an order for military hardware worth 232 crore rupees. United Arab Emirates has placed an order for the supply of 40,000 pieces of a component used in Bo Force artillery. The building of the phase number one of the Chabahar port has been completed, and the Irani President Hassan Rouhani will inaugurate the first phase of the Chabahar port development project on December 3rd. Federal Minister for Ports and Shipping of Pakistan has recently disclosed that 91% of the total revenues generated from the Gwadar port would go to China, while Pakistan's port authority would get only 9% share in the income for the next 40 years.